This is for anyone who wants to know how minorities are treated on a lot of um, construction jobs in New York State. This company right here was a tree cutting company on a pipe laying job out in Genesee County. I was the only person from there. And they let me go. They let go so many black people claiming that they were failing like drug tests. But these two white guys right here from another state came in. And they came in that day and you could tell they were drunk. They smelled like it. The safety guy gave them a test. And then later on they came back and asked him what did he actually get. And the guy said he don't know. Because the guy didn't give him a real test. He just faked it. He just faked it. And these guys are working with power saws. Gas powered saws. They're driving um, trucks using equipment. I don't know. These guys right here, you know, you can kind of see that they was doing some things that weren't right. And as for these other things, what you're seeing, this is a school in Rochester with where, you know, minority children go. And while other schools are preparing people for school play shooters, this school is blocking all the exits that a kid could use to get away from a school play shooter. They're setting your kid up to get shot. And if you just look at it, you can see that they spent a lot of money here for these toys that these teachers wanted. But they blocked all the escape routes. Classes had like two and three ways out. They blocked it down to just one way in, one way out. Because all the emergency exits in these classrooms are being blocked. It has something happening in the city where we have a school place shooter and the kids can't even escape. See this classroom right here? Here's one of the emergency exits. Right over here. It's behind all these file cabinets that they locked. They st stacked up against them. Can't even see the door now because it's behind the file cabinet, so you wouldn't be able to get up. They reduce these classes to just one way in, one way out. School play shooter happen in the inner city. <laughs> Your child is messed up. You ain't got no escape. Just one way in, one way out. An affirmative action, oh, that's a crock. Because I work for a company where they're supposed to fill the requirements needed for a certain amount of minorities. Because they're a minority company. But I found out that white guys put their wife's name on, on the company so that they can get these positions and make this money to send black people to jobs. But they don't send just black people. They send white people too. So that's the way they're going around it. And then when you get there, me, the black person... They don't give me any overtime. They give it to the white person. Saturdays come. They tell the white person to come in. Tell me I can't come in. So it's it's still it's just a crock. I mean, and then I'm working hard. This guy, he doesn't have to do anything but just relax because everybody's trying to keep him. I mean, we're supposed to be watching people to make sure that they're safe. This guy's talking on his phone instead of watching the people. <laughs> 